it's also hey everyone it's delicacy here obviously and welcome to the next part of let's play the sims 4 hampton falls just as a heads up i am pre-recording this because i am getting on a plane today the day that this goes live to go to ea play in la and then i'll be back so basically in the last part a whole heap happened i was shook i was like shocking myself with my own storyline i was like i need to take a break it's too much for me but morgan finally had the baby which ended up to be triplets and i was like like, well, I swear I did not plan that out in the Let's Play. I was as shocked as you guys. So we now have triplets in Morgan's family, which is kind of crazy. And Morgan went over to Joel's house to tell him and to say, I want you to be with me, even though she knows he has a lot of feelings for Constance. And he was like, no, I'm in love with Constance. I don't believe they're my kids. She was like, well, fine. If you don't believe me, then I'm going to get you back. So she actually went and killed Constance uh, in the middle of the night. She knocked on the door. Constance answered, she shot Constance and ran off before anyone could find out it was her. So I'm thinking Joel has a pretty good idea who might have killed Constance because obviously they know she was murdered. So now this Let's Play has become about murder. I did not... <laughs> I did not realize it would take such a dramatic turn, or did I? Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this episode and cheers to Tea Time, Hampton Tea Time. I hope you're enjoying the series and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you are so I know to keep making it. Okay, so we are at a new house which you guys do not recognize. This is actually going to be Joel and Crystal's new house. I did on a live stream and also I made a building video which I'll link in the description down below. I did like build an entire like church home kind of renovation that they were going to move into that was owned by Constance. But I decided for them not to move into that because when I went into it, I realized it was so creepy. Constance isn't alive anymore, which made it even more creepy. So I was like, eh, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so I downloaded this house and I think this is by one of you guys, um, Maria or Maria, kiss, kiss, kiss. Seven. Um, thank you so much for your modern bachelor home we're going to be using. And I did do a little bit of a renovation, which you guys will be able to see. Um, so I've added a room here for Crystal. I've changed this around a little bit. And of course we needed a secret basement for the cow plants. So we've got the good old bookshelf door here that leads down to a well-lit basement, which is where all of the cow plants are going to go. So let's go ahead and place them in because we've just moved in. Um, oh, whoopsie daisies. We moved all of the furniture from both houses here. Okay, we might need this to be a lot bigger than I thought we would need it to be. Uh, first of all, for the cow plants, which some of them are fully grown, like half of them are fully grown, we're definitely going to need to get some planters for them. So let's get some of those, these ones. Let's go the dark brown to kind of match the flooring in here. Oh my gosh, it looks so crazy. I love cow plants. I have missed cow plants since I had them in my Sims 4 Twins LP. Oh, good times. Oh, here's another little baby one. And then we've got a couple of big boys down here. Yay! Okay, so we have our little cow plant dungeon underneath uh, that Crystal doesn't know about yet. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've put a few things into the house. I've got a few of the cat things because Crystal definitely wanted to take Buttercup with them when they left their house um, because she had a relationship with Joel's housemate and then he like put a stop to it straight away. He like punched the guy and was like, no. But yeah, Joel's got some new couches in here. I've decided that he's paid for this with um, the business he's been doing with Bartleby. And it turns out Constance passed away at the same time as business with Bartleby was going well and he was earning a fair bit of money. Um, he also moved the cat litter to this house without cleaning it. <laughs> <laughs> There's already cat litter there. That'll make everyone feel nice and at home. Uh, then we have some suitcases next to Crystal's bed, Joel's old bed in here, unless that was his roommate's bed. I can't remember, but anyway, that's what we've done. And I've squeezed in a dining table just here. So it's kind of like his first home and he actually owns it, which is really exciting. And they have some money left over too. So Joel's just settling into the new house, getting a drink of water. He's looking pretty upset. I'd say he's got the news that Constance was murdered and that's pretty upsetting. And also Bartleby has decided to have a private service for Constance. So no one is really invited to go. So there's not really any way for Joel to have proper closure um, or say goodbye to Constance, which is really, really sad. So it's kind of sad because he's moved into this new house. He's got his first home that he's bought all by himself that he's really proud of that Constance probably helped him get. 
and probably is just reminded of Constance. So that's really, really sad. Crystal here has noticed her brother looks really upset. She probably doesn't understand why he's so, so like so upset about Constance. Maybe she has an idea that he did have a crush on her or something like that, but she probably doesn't realize the extent of their relationship. Oh, <laughs> Joel is already crying in bed, which makes me so upset. Uh, he's crying in Crystal's bed. He didn't quite make it to his bedroom. But, oh my gosh, the poor guy is grieving. He's, like, thinking, man up, go feel, feed the cow plants. And look at all these hungry little guys. Hey, oh my gosh, these are the most terrifying things. I mean, I love them, but they are so terrifying. Like, imagine growing that in your basement. In case you guys don't know much about cow plants, you have to feed them every day or they'll put out a cake out of their mouth and if your sim eats that cake they will swallow your sim whole so yeah we've got to keep them fed otherwise they'll die and it's so sad when they die <laughs> it's like the worst and it's funny crystal can probably hear like little cowbells in the background from underneath the house <laughs> Nah, Joel probably soundproofed it, but he's gonna have to tell Crystal soon what he's been up to. Maybe Bartleby, like, since his wife passed away, I don't know if Bartleby is gonna be the kind of guy who just continues on with business and he'll be upset, obviously, but he gets over it, or if um, it's gonna be, like, a significant change for him and he won't be able to carry on with the cow plant business. So we will see. Big mama cow plant. Little baby cow plant. You're so cute. Oh, they've all grown up except, except for this little guy. He's like the little runt of the pack. So it's my favorite. We shall name you. We shall name you Constance in memory. Can we name you? I don't think so. No, we can't. I think all of these guys are going to be pretty happy now. Uh, we can also pet them and maybe have a little bit of a relationship with them. <laughs> Can we have a relationship with the cow plants? I thought you could, but I'm not sure. <laughs> shippy, shippy. Shippy, shippy. Meanwhile, Crystal's upstairs just hanging out with Buttercup. We do know Crystal has picked up smoking, um, which is no good. It's so funny when they light the cigarette because their posture is so straight and so like rigid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why I laugh. And then she can have a little play with the cat. I mean, she looks so serious. Look at her. Damn, girl. <laughs> now, let's um, set a schedule time. Let's do it every... Oh, no, it's already... Maybe we'll do it every six hours because I don't want the cat to starve because knowing me, that's what's going to happen because I'm terrible at taking care of sim pets. Ooh, he just went through the secret door. I love that door. Nice one. Now, Crystal is a D student at school. She just skips school now. Um, so I was thinking that we should really work on what she's going to do when she ages up. So I think what we'll do is start getting her painting skill up again so she can earn money that way. In terms of painting, she's at level five, so she can make money from it, but it's not like she's going to make heaps and heaps of money. Um, it'd be easier if she was a writer because then we could make lots of royalties, but hey. Doing some paintings should be fine. Joel over here. Oh, he's playing with his cow plants again. It's so sad. He probably finds love with the cow plants now because Constance isn't here. Although, remember, he does have a relate. Oh my gosh, he hates Morgan. <gasps> Look at that. Not only is it in the negative for friendship, it's in the negative for romance as well. That is really, really bad. Uh, he dislikes Hayden, of course, too. And oh my gosh, these are technically his kids. This is his son, Leroy, daughter, Celeste, and his son, Aaron Joel. So Joel would know that Morgan probably killed Constance because she turned up to his house right before it happened, which is really crazy. And he, oh, he's very sad. He's going to bed to cry again. Oh, and the cat's like half in the bed with him. What? <laughs> Um, oh, and Crystal finished this. I mean, she should sell it. She should be like, I'm gonna start selling my pieces. We'll get her to continue painting as well. Uh, paint from reference. Maybe she can be like, can I paint you today, Joel? And he'll be like, do you have to paint me right now? Oh no, it's skipping Joel. No, I'm trying to get like a nice painting of Joel and it's just not working, you guys. I could do like a moody painting. There we go. Painting him while he's mourning. That's really messed up. But anyway, 
So Joel is obviously super upset that Constance was murdered. He also probably has put two and two together. He probably knows it was Morgan because she came to his house angry about Constance. And then Constance just like oh, half an hour afterwards was murdered. So he probably knows it's Morgan and is probably thinking he needs to report Morgan, but he knows that's going to have consequences. That's going to put um, Morgan into jail. That's going to affect uh, Lauren and her little brother. And furthermore, he probably knows those are his kids. So it's a hot mess, you guys. It's a hot mess. It's like, if I report her, then I'm going to get custody of the kids. She's going to tell the police about my cow plant business, probably. Like, it's it's difficult to know what he wants to do. And Crystal here is doing a beautiful portrait of her brother to try and cheer him up, which is kind of cool. Although she's painting him while he's mourning, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Uh, I'm also surprised we haven't had any welcome wagon yet. I'm kind of wanting my fruitcake. So where is my fruitcake? Crystal is cheering him up a lot. And you know who I think she should invite over? She should invite Esther over because she's probably thinking, well, if I invite Esther, Esther might cheer Joel up, even though she and Esther aren't really getting along right now. But she doesn't know that Esther's going to rock up pregnant as well. And that's crazy because it means both Harrisons are having babies or have had babies, which is like going to blow Joel's mind, honestly. Like too much is happening right now for this family. Okay, this is the most depressing painting ever. <laughs> Why did I get her to draw Joel like this? <gasps> Guys, oh my gosh, she's like leaning back. She looks so pregnant. Oh my God. I'm just like peering through the window being like, oh, this is so awkward. Okay, I guess we're going to answer the door. I mean, would you know she's pregnant? I guess Esther's going to have to tell her. Okay, so Joel's seen her first. Oh, look at these guys catching up. And he's probably like, uh, you look a little larger than usual. She's like, yeah, I have some news to tell you. I'm pregnant. It's like, you're kidding, right? That's a joke, right? You're not serious. She's like, no, I'm, I'm totally serious. I haven't told so mum yet. Up. And Joel's just but gone straight sucks. to becoming super duper angry. What do you mean? He's like, what, what do you point? mean? What are you thinking? You're too young. Uh, he would be furious, not only just because he's protective of Esther, but because of everything that's just happened with him and him having babies. It would be such an overwhelming mess right now. But he is a caring brother, so I feel like he he wants to help her. Crystal's gonna be a good sister and is gonna help Esther just like Joel is. and. She's just going to reassure her that everything's going to be okay. And she's going to furthermore take a selfie. <laughs> so Esther probably feels absolutely relieved that she's told her siblings. But I also feel like Crystal probably feels pretty bad about it. Like she'd feel like it's partly her fault her sister's pregnant because she's the one who took Esther out. She was the bad influence. Um, and Esther's younger and she's just really naive. And I think Crystal feels bad about that, that she never really told she Esther like any on. warnings Larsa. before taking Esther out on the town underage and yeah this is what's happened so Crystal's probably feeling pretty terrible about that right now um and she's probably said to Esther well don't tell anyone else and so Esther's just told her I told Bianca about it and Crystal's probably like why would you tell Bianca of all people you're so stupid sometimes. Um, but she's like, you can't trust Bianca with stuff like that. And Buttercups come here as well. I guess the next thing they have to do is probably tell their parents. So we should probably go over to the parents' house and let Allison know and Terry know um, and see what happens. Okay, so we are at the Harrison's parents' house and Esther's current house. And it's time for them to tell their parents what's going on, uh, what's happening and to be open because they can't hide Esther's pregnancy. Uh, that's just not gonna happen, I don't think. And I love how Crystal's just helped herself inside, got herself some beans from mom's kitchen. Absolutely love that. And ah, it looks like Terry over here, who is halfway to Tanya, um, or hoping to identify as Tanya soon. He's just downstairs chilling out. Oh no, I've lost him. Okay, so it's time for family intervention and Esther needs to tell her mom and dad about what's been happening, share the big news with them maybe. Uh, it looks like Terry's already leaving the room. Uh, Terry, do you want to come back? <laughs> well, one, one parent at a time. Allison's sitting down and she's like, <laughs> Esther, that's a fun 
funny joke. <laughs> You're not serious, are you? You're kidding, right? Honey? Is that a bump I see? <laughs> Do you have a pillow under your top? Please tell me this is a sick joke. Please, Esther. Esther's like, no, mom, I'm serious. Elson's like, how could you, Esther? You're a disgrace. You're as bad as Crystal. How could you do this? How could you be so stupid? Esther's like, Mom, I didn't do it deliberately. So Allison is very, very angry and she is in shock, I think, and she can't believe her perfect little Esther would do this. But it's also partly her fault, I think. You know, educating her daughter, you know, kind of being there for her daughter when she does make mistakes, because everyone does make mistakes. And she's just storming out now. Uh, Allison needs like some time to herself and has probably said to Esther, like, get out of the house. I don't want you in the house. This is outrageous. And that baby is not yours to keep. Oh my God. And there goes little Sable. Sable like ran out as well. And I didn't realize, but apparently Sable's a fox, you guys. I thought it was just a weird looking dog. And so many of you guys were like, but that is totally Allison's kind of dog, like something really extra. So Allison's gone to bed now. Um, Esther's just by herself still. Oh, Esther, Esther's taking a, a very sad poop. Adonda. Esther's like, how could mom no speak to me like that? Mom's Esther. never spoken Ugh. to me like that or got yeah, angry yeah. or lost it. And Crystal's like, well, welcome to my life. That was nothing. <laughs> Trying to make her feel better, obviously. Oh, poor Esther. She's stressing so much. And she's like, do you really think mom will take away the baby? So Terry's come downstairs and Terry's being a supportive dad and he's asking to feel the baby and he's going to be supportive of Esther and he'll be like, sweetie, you don't need to leave here. You're always welcome at home and your mum is going crazy right now, but she'll get over it. So they're just having a little bit of a laugh and she's basically saying everything's going to be okay and we'll sort this out. Um, but please don't, don't feel like you have to leave the house. This is your home and we love you very, very much. So that's good that Terry's um, being supportive. And I think that's partly because, you know, he's got a lot of things that aren't perfect about himself right now. And that would be pretty awful if he decided to kick another family member out of the house because they have something that is not by the rules of the book. So yeah, I think it's nice that he's being supportive of Esther. So back to Crystal and Joel's house. Crystal is is actually going to school today apparently um but going to school probably means she's off to maybe she's working at a local cafe or something like that we could get her a part-time job actually that would be a good idea um but i think today joel is actually going to go to bartleby's house and tell him what he knows and also the police can then take care of morgan probably will have to say he was seeing constance so bartleby probably doesn't want anything to do with joel anymore um, but at least he's going to come forward and be honest about it and say, look, I was in love with Constance and I want you guys to have justice and her to have justice. And um, I don't want this to happen again. So, ew, why is it whenever they make a garden salad that they use their <laughs> finger, like they stick their finger in their ear and then they continue making the salad? Like, I swear the Sims always do that just for garden salads gross joel ew it looks so like it looks like old salad doesn't it um oh so crystal's going to a study group okay so maybe she's she's changing her ways a little bit now that she's realized that she might need to help esther support a child uh even though her parents are going to help esther i guess crystal's all about being independent and getting away from her family so <laughs> she's going to help esther out with that yeah. and also little pussycat you need to get down from there let's give that Little buttercup a bit of a lecture about jumping up on things. Oh, Joel's still really oh, sad. Ribbon. And he's feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my gosh, he got drained by the cow plant? When did he get drained by one? Oh my gosh, they're all hungry. Okay, this is stressful. We gotta feed the cow plants. Look at them with all their little cakes. So creepy. Feed them all, quickly. Oh, and our little babe, little Constance grew up. Oh man, these are definitely the coolest thing in The Sims 4. And there we go. There's a little package for that cow plant. And then we'll feed the other two as well. So funny. He's like eating his breakfast whilst feeding the cow plants. I would not be able to eat around these things. Oh, and he's in a really good mood. So that's good. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen to the cow plant business if Bartleby doesn't want to work with him anymore. 
All right, so Joel is going to Bartleby's house and he's going to knock on the door, but he's going to a very weird door. Okay, he's going to the back door to knock on. I guess he's probably been used to sneaking in the back door when he was with Constance. Oh, it looks like nobody's home. Oh no, we wanted to tell Bartleby in person what was going on. Oh my gosh, and now he's going to take their trash out or maybe he had trash and he's using his their bin, which is kind of dodgy. Well, I guess what we'll just have to do is make the call to Bartleby and tell him what is happening and also make a call to the police and answer any questions, I guess. And hopefully that can sort this out. So and he just, just littered on their to lawn. To Joel! <laughs> he looks pretty nervous to be calling Bartleby, actually. Um, but it's something he's got to do. And he's got to let him know what's exactly happened and that he was having an affair with Constance and that he loved her very much and that he believes Morgan is the one who did this to her.